Good evening and welcome. I'm Abdul Ali. We're here with Moving Forward. That's a program we've been working on for a period of time. And tonight we're going to have a healthy discussion as we go along. And I got some of my colleagues here with me. And we'll be talking about the whole business of Valentine's Day, the history behind it, where it is today, and at the same time, the way people see the commercialization of the thing the connection with love, because that's one of the things we always seem to tie into it. So, Dara, introduce yourself. Dara Hamilton, I'm so happy to be here again with you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Ali. Miss Larocque. Bettina Jules Larocque. All right, fine. And I, I made sure we got uh, Bettina Jules Larocque because Bettina has been a, a counselor in the uh, government schools for some period of time. So she understands and we really want to focus a little bit as well as on young people in the community. How do they feel about Valentine's Day? So let's start with a general question. What are your thoughts on Valentine's Day, Dara? Well, I have so many thoughts on mm. Valentine's Day, Mr. Ali. It's mm. such a long-standing holiday and tradition for us, so I think that there is a role that the holiday plays, and I recognize the commercial aspects of it, which I know many people have contention with. And I think that, for me, it's also a day or a time of year where some people can become very confronted with their lack of relationship or lack of love. Mm. So I think that Valentine's Day, as you have said, has so many implications for different people, and my thoughts tend to run across those implications that it has for us. Absolutely, and, and what's yours, Ms. Lara? Well, Ms. Ali and also Dr. Hamilton, thanks for having me with you guys this evening. Um, I think that Valentine's Day is definitely a day to celebrate love. Um, however, um, it shouldn't only be limited to that one particular day. So that's my take on it. Um, like you said, it's very commercialized right now and um, we have to somehow either move away from that where we can be able to show love each and every day and not just wait for one particular day. I understand and from my point of view it's just another day in the year. Mm -hmm. I'm not particularly looking forward to say well this is the day when we show more love than mm -hmm. other days. Mm -hmm. It's there and I recognize it as it goes along. But it does have a history and I did a little research and it says here, I got my paper here, Valentine's Day is a time to celebrate romance and love, kissy face fealty, but the origins of this festival of candy and cupids are actually dark, bloody, and a bit muddled. Mm -hmm. And then we hear it goes all the way back to Rome. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think there was a gentleman called Valentine, mm -hmm. and he was in fact uh, killed, not necessarily because of his name, but that is certainly something that happened. We also heard, based on the research, that there were times when women were um, beaten up and things of that particular nature, all in the whole issue and feeling for Valentine. So even though that has been a bit of the history in general and the commercialization which goes with it, it's still very much with us today. And People. And many of us are so divorced from that history. And when we celebrate it, we celebrate it for our own individual reasons or for the most popular reason that society is celebrating the holiday at this time. My feeling in general about holidays is that there are times for us to reestablish cohesion as a community and as a society and so that they serve a very important role. And at times we can turn away from the history, especially when the history is complicated, and at other times people feel as though they can't deny that history. And then we see these holidays changing into something that may be um, not as productive when the idea is that we are um, either helping people feel excluded because they're not chosen for that day, or <laughs> if it's just a focus on money and it's not really about the spirit of the holiday, which is what we really want to celebrate is our connection with each other. So we each have to really look at Valentine's Day and decide what is the meaning of this holiday for us as individuals, would we like to celebrate it, how we'd like to celebrate it, and uh, that would be the best way to go is 
if we as individuals look at that holiday because it's definitely a cultural phenomenon. It's a cultural holiday. And it's here to stay. There is no question about it that based be. on the, well, be. I would say that for <laughs> all the years it's gone on now and the commercialization that goes with it, I think it's pretty much here to stay. What are your thoughts on, on the whole business of lack of understanding and some, some people say, well, I, I want you to be my Valentine and we fall in love and then two, three months later, you're not the Valentine anymore. <laughs> you know, I get another Valentine. Mm -hmm. uh, so th there's that whole business of the tie-in and of course people related to love as well. Well, you know, I'll, I'll even go back to the history, Mr. Ali. With um, St. Valentine as that particular history as it shows, he was someone who wanted to express love and compassion to people and that's what caused him um, his debt, right? Because you had individuals who were not in support of his ideology and what he wanted to demonstrate. So um, he, he eventually died, right? And it was, it was not good. But at the end of the day, um, like I said, we have to be um, individuals who want to express love. So if today, at this time, we're in a relationship and I choose to say, well, I would like you for you to be my Valentine, but the relationship does not work out, then we have to accept that for what it is. Mm -hmm. And then perhaps I will find someone else who would want to be my Valentine or more compatible. So in life, we just have to take it moment by moment where we're at. And if at that moment you are the person in my life and I choose to have you as my Valentine, but it doesn't work out, then we move on. And each of us can find someone else and be mature about it. And nothing is wrong with that. Absolutely. But I think one of the things that sometimes we run into problems is we don't maintain these relationships. You suddenly become my Valentine and then three, four months down the road, we have arguments, fusses, fights and things of this particular nature. And there is not much done to maintain the relation, maintain the love which we talked about. And Mr. Ali, that starts really early. And these people may find that this looks really familiar from when we were children. We started with these little cards or tokens of, of affection, as it were. But they were very isolated from anything else. It was be my Valentine for that day. I'm giving you a card. I'm expressing <laughs> this. Right. And there was no larger discussion into what does this mean and why are we doing this. Uh, but we still did it as children. So we started off very early with some ideas around Valentine's Day that were isolated to that day and didn't have that continuity that you're suggesting in terms of developing a, a, a bigger relationship or a more long-lasting relationship, which is, of course, not necessarily appropriate for, for children of that age. But it does speak to the fact that we did start really early in terms of um, participating in Valentine's Day as a tradition. Absolutely. Ms. Larock, you've done counseling at schools and yes. so uh, youngsters, do they talk about, the teenagers, do they talk about Valentine's Day in general? Well, Ms. Ali, you know I've been on the elementary level and Valentine's Day um, is, and even on the high school level, it can be a great fundraising day because this is a day when you're going to have all the little Valentine trinkets and sometimes the students would buy it um, for their parents, so that's where it starts first. I want to give my mom a chocolate. I want to give my mom a handwritten card. I want to give my mom a teddy bear. So you're able to see, okay, or the parent may want to give it to the child. So it's not necessarily um, always about a male or female relationship when time comes to Valentine's. It's, it's about showing love, right? And um, something that we also can consider for the discussion is what's our love language? Because Love language is a, is a session where, for example, Mr. Ali, you mm. might like um, to be emotional. You might like to have that affection shown to you. It, it, you know, there are different love language. So as you have your partner, what's your love language? Mm. How do you like to show and receive love? Mm -hmm. Ms. Lorak brings up a very interesting point, this idea of the handwritten card or another gift. We tend to see this as commercialized because we tend to purchase items for each other on Valentine's Day, but it doesn't really have to be that. Mm -hmm. We can express our affection by doing some of the other things she just mentioned, finding another way to express through our specific love language or our partner's love language or our friend's love language or our own, what our appreciation is for that other person. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something that is commercial. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I know, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you have Dominican background, or is it St. Lucia? Or? Both. Bo both, Dominican okay. and St. Lucia. Now, it's a mix. <laughs> it's a mix. So what happened 
Muslims, do they have Valentine's Day there uh, in I'm a formal not sure. sense? I'm mm. not sure, Mr. Ali, if mm. they do it formally because some of the holidays we celebrate, they do not. Um, for example, yeah. um, my children also have Antiguan in them and I've been to an Antigua and they don't necessarily celebrate Thanksgiving when we do. Mm -hmm. So things are different, yeah. <laughs> you know. Absolutely. Um, I'm not sure about Valentine's Day. Not, not sure Day. about, yes, yeah. all right, because that's clearly something that we know that's very big mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about, we talked about children just now, or younger people, what about older folks uh, as you go up in age? Do, do you sense that those people bother with it more? Some people who maybe over 50? Well, it depends on their culture because some individuals have done it, like um, Dr. Hamilton said, from a very young age, so you continue it, right? Because yeah. if we've been married for 20 odd years, why would you stop now because, you, what am I, too old? So it's, you know, you got to continue, right? Because it's a tradition in your relationship if you've lasted that long. And then for some people, it really doesn't matter, Mr. Ali. Like, I don't care. Every day should be Valentine's. That's their attitude. So it should not be only that one specific day that you're showing me love or you're sending me flowers. Why not just pick any random day to send me flowers and show me your appreciation? Absolutely. And you've mentioned love and I think the love language and so forth. What is love supposed to be? Well, it can look it, look, it can look different for different people mm -hmm. because someone who is not necessarily as affectionate might not want to be hugged or touch, right? Mm -hmm. That's not their love language. But because I know that I like to eat, I like to be taken care of, so you, if you cook a meal for me, I will appreciate that more than if you come and you hug me, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not talking about myself, but I'm just saying in general. Mm -hmm. um, things like that. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to know your partner to know what's going to make them happy. Exactly. Yeah. Love, what does it mean? We use the term quite a mm -hmm. lot and it's been going on now mm -hmm. for centuries, mm -hmm. but perhaps mm -hmm. it means different things to different people. I think it does. And there's the emotion of love and then there's the behavior. And I read a quote years ago that love is a, an action word. Love is, a, is an actual behavior. It's how we treat each other is, a, is love or a demonstration of love. So feeling one way about someone is, is one thing and demonstrating that is another. I guess we can say uh, principles are, are without action or nothing right so it's important so yeah love can be different for each other for depending on the person how they express it and how they um, take it in how we recognize it I think ultimately it is that feeling of care for yeah. another person a yeah. deep caring for another person we can love someone and not be in a relationship with that person sure. yeah. we can love someone recognize that this relationship isn't going to work and so we can't be together and i can love you from afar so it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to be in a relationship with someone that we love but we can still have that that deep feeling of caring yeah. for another human being mm -hmm. but the relationship in general is what we really focus on much more than anything else well, I don't know what mm -hmm. we focus on more than anything else. I think we focus a lot on Valentine's Day about what, what am I getting or what did, <laughs> did you get me as an expression of love. And that causes so many problems in specific relationships when we're looking at what I got from you as an expression of love as yeah. opposed to the fact that we've been caring each, to each other, companions with each other, supporting each other, uh, enjoying each other's company, having fun together. All of that is an expression of love, even mm -hmm. more so than here, I got you something on a specific day. Yeah. So that can definitely complicate some relationships during Valentine's Day if someone feels like I wanted uh, expensive jewelry yeah. and you didn't oh, get it can. or yeah. you didn't pay attention to me on this specific day. Mm -hmm. but, but just imagine, um, we haven't spoken for the entire week as a, as a couple, right? right? But on Valentine's Day, I'm going to give you a card or I'm going to give right. you a you know, flowers. But we haven't spoken for the right. week. Mm -hmm. And then after Valentine's Day, we're going to go back to that as well. <laughs> like, like, you know, Correct. we're going to go back to not speaking. We might speak a little bit more, but, you know. Right, right. For the next couple of days, <laughs> yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. And then, you know, that's it. We this go back song, to our old pattern. It sounds as though it's a lot to do with feelings, emotions, thoughts ideas as to where we should be at any uh, given time. And so one questions the 
reality really of uh, Valentine's Day? You know, I don't because I really feel that we need these holidays again so that we can remain cohesive as a community and it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day but it has to be something mm -hmm. that says we're all coming back together on the same page at certain times during the year mm -hmm. so that we don't fragment, we don't just spread too far apart and we're mm -hmm. unable to maintain our sense of community mm -hmm. and so Valentine's Day for me serves that purpose so despite the commercialization despite this despite the history despite all of that I find it still to be a valuable holiday I'm myself I'm not uh, too I'm not caught up in Valentine's Day at all um, <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I don't recognize its value right. in the larger society and that mm. I can't recognize that this is Valentine's Day. And that's wonderful that people are treating each other well on this day, even if they don't any other day of the year. Absolutely. Mm. Is there a difference between how men look at it as opposed to We need women? to ask you that, Mr. <laughs> Ali. Tell us. Tell us how, well, how you look at it. Generally, I, th I think that sometimes men really come and say, right, this is the time to give a nice ring. This is the time mm -hmm. to give a car. This is the time to buy a piece of land for the lady and take oh, her wow. up there. Yes, take her up right up there Even on the land, land and hold her yeah. hand on the land as How you beautiful. look over the, the sea at the same time. Oh, wow, so, what yes, an idea, so that's, Mr. That's, Ali. That's, 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 well, yes, that's, that's a way of expressing mm -hmm. how you feel mm -hmm. at that uh, particular time. And the gist of it is to kind of make sure that you continue to feel that way. Do as men you want things for Valentine's Day? I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I think Valentine's is, I won't say I don't think so, but I think women benefit from Valentine's Day more than men. I think Why do women you say that? get more of the gifts. I don't think, I don't think women really buy men gifts on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. They expect to get a gift. But we don't really oh, purchase see. a gift yeah. for the men, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and I think I think that's what I've observed. Yeah. Okay. Why so, do you think that is so? Because I, 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 I'm keen in my mind that we balance this thing up. It's in not this balance, sense. not Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. For some yes. reason, oh. you are going to get your, the female will receive the flowers, the chocolate, mm -hmm. the everything, mm -hmm. but we don't necessarily give our partner any mm -hmm. well we, you get something but yeah you know like <laughs> you know well, maybe we can start a revolution that. on that um, you know yeah. <laughs> okay, let me say that maybe yeah. we can start a revolution <laughs> where we turn this around a little bit and, and, and start caring for our men a bit more then well, we would like to, based on what you've just said, right. uh, be cared for a bit more on that particular day as well, since it's a day of giving. Because sometimes you may have a situation where I say, well, I gave you these rings and whatever else you say you wanted. What are you giving to me? To balance things up oh, just wow. a wee bit, wow. yes. Wow. That, I mean, that's is only, only fair, is it? Uh -huh. okay, yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, then again, the, the focus on the, the giving, and we can give gifts, and we can also give the acts of service, and we can also give True. words, we can also give um, a romantic mm -hmm. dinner, like a what? romantic walk. Yeah, words like what? I love you and I appreciate you. I thank you so much for everything that you have done for me over the, the years. I thank you for your support. I thank mm -hmm. you for being a part of my life. I really enjoy our time You're together. One of the best things that earth. I've yeah. ever did was yeah. to, to, to get in this relationship yeah, with yes. you okay. and, and so forth. We can really express our sentiments mm -hmm. in terms of how we feel on that day, not just by mm -hmm. a gift mm -hmm. that is a, a token of, of that love, but really express that love in other ways as well. Well, I really think, based on what we've been talking about so far, that we have to look a little more closely on the men and mm -hmm. the gifts that they get at that time. And then, of course, all men were boys at one particular stage. So maybe even with the um, friends that they have at school and so forth, I'm talking about the people who are 18, mm -hmm. 17, and things like that, that angle might need to be looked up a little bit because we also need uh, support, love, understanding, appreciation. And yes, and Mr. Ali, we can mm. also decide together as a couple how we'd like to spend Valentine's Day. That's we don't too. have to yeah. just pop up yeah. and get something that we hope somebody would like, but That's we true. can say, how would you like to spend Valentine's 
together this year. How do you feel most appreciated? Mm -hmm. Maybe we can do it for a whole week and mm -hmm. let's really work on appreciating That's each other right. for this week. Maybe looking at things that we meant to do that we didn't get around to and That's doing true. those things during that week of Valentine's as a way of saying I appreciate you and I heard you. Mm -hmm. um, so there are so many different ways we can look at how we want to spend this time and how yes. we want to really appreciate each other. Mm -hmm. I do think it's a time to double back and I recognize that as humans we tend to go in cycles Right? We, we get on the horse, we, we do something, then we fall off, and we have to come back around. Sure, we need yeah. to recommit to it. Mm -hmm. So we can use Valentine's Day as an opportunity to recommit to our relationship Absolutely. and try to sustain that. Well, that sounds really very good. And sometimes you're sitting down and talking about it, even if I don't actually give you a gift in your hand. That can be extremely mm -hmm. meaningful, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. And think about the person who has to purchase multiple gifts yeah. because mm. they're in multiple relationships. Oh my goodness, wow. yes, yes. That could so be very costly. So you have a costly. lot of Valentine's um, gift to give out. Absolutely, yes. Maybe 32. Everyone is waiting <laughs> for something. <laughs> Maybe 32. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice, you know, you Get a value you pack. Yeah. 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 All you have to do is a little budgeting. <laughs> All you have to do is, you know, you start a budget from December, Valentine's Day is coming up. Let me really oh, budget it so goodness. much. So when that me. happens, Mr. Ali, is yeah. the love truly sincere? Well, when you the, have the, the so right. many yes. to give to, is mm -hmm. the love truly sincere? Is, are you just Cupid? <laughs> but, well, the <laughs> thing is really to really make up your mind because you can love a, as many people as you wish. You know, there is no question yeah. about that. Yes. You, you, you really love, believe that? You could love as many people as, so. as, as you wish. We're not, not going to be same. in a relationship with all of them. Well, but, well that's, that's a different time. level, but, but you could certainly love them as you go along and try to make absolutely sure that everyone is happy and convenient and doing the things that they really want to, to do. So uh, is there going to be a time when we're going to do away? Somebody is going to come up with some idea that we do away with with, with Valentine's Day. I know on the mainland right now there is some thinking, this mm. is a slightly different subject, but there is some thinking that we shouldn't teach the whole history of, of, of black history and so forth in the schools. Mm. And there is, I haven't heard anything as to whether, well, what are we going to teach? Are we going to teach white history? and not black history. So I haven't heard about that bit. Mm -hmm. So w is there likely a time when this may come up that uh, people may say, well, yeah, we've had enough of this and no more uh, Valentine's Day? No, Mr. Ali, because for consumers, it's a great um, holiday where you're going to see an increase in individuals making purchases, right? It's just like Christmas, it's like Thanksgiving, it's like other holidays that's very, very beneficial commercially. Yeah. So I don't see it going anywhere. I, I, unless you have a personal choice not to no, engage. When you say anywhere, you mean anywhere but forward. That's what you right, mean. <laughs> you're gonna continue with it because it's profitable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, I don't know. I, I would hope that we develop spiritually to a point that we are focusing more on how we care for each other rather mm. than just giving uh, and on perhaps a day. perhaps there'll be a, a time where we get sick of of things that appear to be a bit more shallow mm. and we want to go a bit deeper and then mm. this holiday would become less relevant because mm -hmm. it has become so commercialized not because the care that we show on that day or we could potentially um, share on that day is not important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I wonder, I don't know, I don't have my pulse at all uh, as to what happens in the States or what's happening in the States with right. respect to Valentine's Day or what the trends are. Yeah. But I think that would be interesting for us to look at the trends in terms of the spending because that would really show us mm -hmm. how invested people are in that day. Or if people are pulling back from the idea of celebrating Valentine's Day in this way. Absolutely. So that's really very interesting. And I brought that point up because, you know, we live in a changing world. Mm -hmm. And we're doing one thing now. In a few years, we could be doing something completely different yeah. and certainly something that we haven't uh, done, done before. So we'll just have to see how it goes as we go along and be ready for any change that comes up and hopefully be something along the lines of what you suggested that we would know for a fact 
that the whole business of we can celebrate the day, mm -hmm. almost any day we want. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be, For I think sure. it's February the 14th. 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why they put it the 14th. Maybe they could have done the 12th. But anyway. Mm -hmm. the, 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 is that your birthday, well, Mr. Ali? <laughs> My birthday is in is in uh, February. Okay. Yes, so I I hope I get some some sort of Valentine's uh, gift. As a is it February twelfth? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, well no. we'll ask you after the Yo, show. Yours, so can, yours is mine is in February, but it's not February twelfth. Oh, I no. see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll convene after the. Right. This show. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to just chat a little bit about what happens when you're not getting a Valentine. I will say oh that, goodness. yeah, mm -hmm. right? If you're not the chosen one, yeah. I think, I, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about in elementary school, how that's handled now. I know, I remember as a child being very anxious, like, oh my God, what if I don't get anything? And then you also want to give right. things out. And, and what if you're a child whose mother doesn't buy you this handy pack to give out to your, your friends and so mm -hmm. forth? Mm -hmm. Do you see any, did you see any of that when you were in elementary? Well, I'm sure some students participated in the sale and some didn't. Okay. But for the most part, it started early enough that you were able to make your purchases um, able to, I remember, keep things to the side, like I'm going to pick this. Because what, what, what really happened on the elementary level was um, like the sixth graders mm -hmm. would use it for their um, mm -hmm. sales and their fundraisers. Mm -hmm. So they wouldn't have it for just one single day. Mm -hmm. But as an adult, mm -hmm. um, Dr. Hamilton, for you not to be the chosen one, that can be very, can be um, you know, hurtful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know? And then, of course, the people who live on their own, they're, they're, they're right. uh, right. sick in a number of cases. Mm -hmm. They're not connected with people outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it could be a bit challenging for them to hear that the day. And they say, well, look, I'm here. Nobody is sending anything to me. Yeah. Maybe I have to give myself a Valentine. And gift. that is a fine way to go. And we, we need to move away from the idea that being, being alone on Valentine's Day, meaning not being in a relationship or having a date for Valentine's Day means that something is dysfunctional or wrong about us. And uh, that just because we're, we aren't in that situation where we're, we're receiving a gift, that that means that I am not worthy of that. Yeah, right, and so yeah. some people do identify with that date in that way that mm -hmm. they do feel less worthy because they're not receiving a gift or mm -hmm. they it emphasizes their feelings of loneliness mm -hmm. that they probably have on some level during the, the year. Mm -hmm. But then during this day where it seems like people are more partnered and they're not, then it, they may feel more intense loneliness. Mm -hmm. So I agree in terms of treating ourselves, dating ourselves, and divesting to some degree into this idea that you have to be in a relationship in order to be a valuable person in society. Mm -hmm. We need to challenge that idea that we're not loved so if we're not in a okay relationship. It's not if true. If you're not in a relationship for that day, it's still okay. I'm Absolutely. Still and and we are and myself. we are still loved and yeah. we are still yeah. valuable yeah. and we are still all of that, mm -hmm. even if you're not in a relationship on that day, or even if you choose not to celebrate right. Valentine's Day, or you and your partner can say, mm -hmm. Are we doing this or are we not doing this? Do we like it? Do we And not some people want to do don't it? want to be in relationships. They're tired of them. But I like something true. that Dr. Hammett said mm -hmm. and that was um, loving ourselves. So when yeah. we talk about self love and self care, which is is two different things. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize it. It's things. two different things. Mm -hmm. Self-care is when, for example, I go and I do my hair or I get my nails done, stuff like that. Self, that's self-care. Mm -hmm. Self-love, Mr. Ali, is knowing that you're going to set boundaries. You're not going to allow individuals to do things to you that yeah. you won't do to others, right? right? Yeah. So you have to make sure that you're loving yourself, mm -hmm. not just caring for the outer Mm -hmm. part you know mm -hmm. so yeah Absolutely. certain boundaries and um, knowing mm -hmm. what right. you're going to accept mm -hmm. for yourself well, see, so. mm -hmm. well i'm just reminded now uh, as we are talking about uh, stevie wonder song i just called to say love that's the song that mm -hmm. came straight oh, up in sweet. my mind and i think that that sort of song says quite a lot about um, what's going on mm -hmm. and our hope is that people will continue to uh, celebrate the day one way or the other yeah. you could celebrate it without anybody giving you anything <laughs> you just give yourself something and go from that particular uh, point of view we just seem to wrap up time or anything else you want to share real quick happy valentine's day and happy birthday mr ellie okay lovely and you happy birthday to you as well thank you <laughs> well, i would have to say happy birthday to the thank you of course. happy valentine's day and thank you for having me absolutely today. no problem at all well that's about it folks for now moving forward 
That's what we attempt to do whenever we're here, and we want to offer a, a sincere thanks uh, to Mr. Earl Morris and his um, colleague here, George, and for helping us to get the word out about a number of issues, and we're hoping that as we go along, we'll be talking about issues relating to health care, We'll be talking about issues relating to the fact that when you pass on, mm -hmm. the, the people there who are left with pain and mm -hmm. so on and so forth, and they too need help and so on. So thank you very much.